Java came onto the scene in 1995. I have been a Java programmer of sorts since before Java was in public release, when it was just in beta. Um, I got excited about it. Um, I heard about it and uh, I said, oh yeah, just another web technology, big deal. And I looked into it. I downloaded some materials on it, read about it. It looked, the only word I can use, elegant. It looked like a great solution to problems that I had been facing in other programming languages. Um, some people who object to Java object to the fact that it is, as far as languages go, verbose. So you write, a, you type a lot more when you write a Java program than with some other languages, but I like that. That typing time is time for me to think. I think it's a safety measure. When you create a Java program, you spend more time thinking and less time just typing symbols. Um, the language itself is very well thought out, very well thought out in terms of security, not only in terms of, oh, safety against misuse, but safety against errors, safety against mistakes, safety against programming goofs. In terms of Android and Java, Java is the major programming language for the Android platform. So if a person wants to write the next great app, um, one of the best ways for them to start doing it is to learn Java. There are other ways to program Android, but they're just not as mature as the development of Java for the Android platform. Um, so as a person who likes goofing around with phones, who likes thinking about apps, and who likes Java, I'm all set. Okay, so I have my email address in all of my books and I frequently hear from readers, mostly with questions. Mm, how do I do this? How do I get over this hurdle? Um, I mean, I love helping them out. Sometimes we have to go back and forth a few times. Um, you know, they'll ask me, well, I can't install such and such. Why isn't it working? And I'll write back and I'll say, well, here's what I think isn't working, but um, if that doesn't work, send me a couple of screenshots or something and I'll be able to diagnose it better. And usually after about one or two or three back and forths, um, we end up solving their problem. What I really like is when a reader writes, and this actually happens, I'm not making this up, says, I love your book, of course, right? Um, what do they like about it? Two things, and I'm very proud of both of them. Um, one of them is that they like the jokes. That's great, that's very reassuring because, you know, I'm insecure about my writing, as everyone is, I'm sure. But also they say, and, and again, this is something I'm very proud of, is that they like the way that I explain the concepts um, because I'm taking great care to make the concepts understandable and at the same time accurate.